Hey guys, the holidays are the perfect time of year to enjoy a cup of hot chocolate. And this is one of those situations when homemade is definitely worth the effort. So I'm gonna show you how to make some hot chocolate from scratch, which is going to taste so much better than anything you're gonna buy pre-made. Let me show you how to make my peppermint hot cocoa, a treat to be enjoyed by kids of all ages. So the first thing we're gonna do is prepare our whipped cream, which is going to go on top of our hot chocolate. So we're going to take a cup of heavy cream, one tablespoon of powdered sugar, and a half a teaspoon of peppermint extract. Now you can find peppermint extract usually right next to the vanilla extract in the baking aisle of your grocery store. And especially this time of year, it's pretty easy to find. Then the next thing we're gonna do is crush some candy canes. This is gonna be for the topping of how we're gonna garnish our peppermint cocoa. So you're going to take two candy canes, put them in a resealable bag, and just give them a gentle whack with a rolling pin. I love doing this in a plastic bag because it'll really save from having all of that candy cane dust go flying all over your kitchen. So now that our garnishes are ready, we can now prepare the hot chocolate. So in a large saucepan, you're gonna take three and a half cups of whole milk, half a cup of heavy cream, and to that we're going to add five tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder and four tablespoons of powdered sugar. I like to use the powdered sugar, which is also known as confectioner's sugar or icing sugar, because it'll dissolve a lot quicker into our milk, and I also feel like it has a more gentle sweetness than just granulated sugar. So we're gonna go ahead and just whisk that up, making sure that all of our chocolate and sugar is dissolved into the milk and cream. And then just gonna set that on simmer until it starts to kind of steam away. You'll know when it's done when you start to see little bubbles around the side of the pan. Then we're going to pour it into some cups. I like to use a cup and a saucer just because it's the holiday time and it makes it a little extra fancy. Of course, my girls always love to drink anything out of a teacup. So at our house, we serve this in a teacup. And I would only fill it about three quarters of the way full because once we add our whipped cream, you'll see it'll start to kind of rise up and you don't want it to overflow. And then to make it extra fancy, we're going to take the whipped cream, transfer it to a pastry bag fitted with a star tip and just pipe a nice little mound on top. And then we are going to sprinkle with some of our candy cane dust. And of course, the best part are the candy cane spoons. So my daughters and I saw these candy cane spoons at the store the other day, and we could not resist them. They are just too cute. They're fully edible, and you can use it to stir the hot chocolate. If you want to know where to get them, I put a link in the description. If you can't find them or they don't ship to where you live, you could also just use a candy cane as a stir. This is the perfect little treat to enjoy while you're entertaining during the holidays, or it's also a really fun thing to have while you're writing that letter to Santa before you go to bed. I hope you give this one a try and let me know what you think. And for more quick and easy recipes, be sure to subscribe. It's free and that way you'll never miss a recipe. All right, you guys, I'll see you back here next time for another delicious recipe. Until then, bye. Jolly.